Hi Leos, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Leo and Aquarius on Fridays. So for those of you guys who are interested, the deck that I'm using is called the Kawaii Tarot. And as always, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description. Also, uh, I apologize in advance if it's a little difficult to understand me. I'm fighting off a cold still, so hopefully there won't be any issues. I am getting better. But uh, I am going to shuffle these cards until we have one more jumper. And there it is. All right, Leo. So just as a quick reminder, if you like the reading, leave a like or a comment. I really like to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But your overall energy here is the Two of Cups. <laughs> now, the Two of Cups is a very powerful card to have in relation to relationships, right? And I feel like because of this is here, you guys are seeing a lot of... A lot of powerful love energy moving around right now. And I'm looking at this Knight of Swords and Knight of Cups, right? So just by looking at the cards, we have two people. And they both seem to be pretty happy. So I'm guessing that a lot of you guys might have something to do with either a water sign or a air sign, right? Because we have the swords and the cups present. So... The Cups talks about water signs, such as Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And the Swords talks about air signs, such as Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And then lastly, we have the Emperor here, which talks about Aries. So, if you guys are dealing with any one of those signs, you can just take that to be extra confirmation. But... Uh, they don't necessarily have to resonate with you guys. <coughs> and it's very interesting because we have the Knight of Cups here in the reverse. And the Knight of Cups is usually talking about moving forward with a message, right? So, to me, the Knights and the Pages both talk about movement and both talk about messages in particular, but... Uh, obviously the page is a little bit lower rank than the knight and as a result is more immature and not as likely or as confident when it comes to coming forth in this message and usually a lot of those things are sort of rectified by the knighthood but because this knight of cups is in reverse it almost feels like it's in that very immature energy and it's very important to uh, point out that the cups are messages of emotions. So when we have the cups, usually I take it to mean either a proposal of love. So somebody saying that they want a relationship. Or some kind of apology. Those are usually the two common uh, emotional messages that I see whenever we have the Nine of Cups. But the fact that it's in reverse leads me to believe that there's a ton of emotion, or sorry, immature energy surrounding this night. So I'm guessing that whoever is coming towards you, Leo, is going to come towards you in a very emotional uh, and not in a good way. Um, but I think more than that, they're going to be very hurtful with their words. And I feel like they're going to try to manipulate you. And it might be that they're trying to manipulate you into a relationship. Because we have the Four of Wands here. And the Four of Wands is my commitment level up card, right? So, the fact that 
we have this sort of level up in commitment here. And for some of you guys, it might even be marriage. Like somebody might actually be asking for your hand in marriage. But the fact that we have sort of this asking, or this proposal of further commitment with this knight in reverse almost leads me to believe that they're either not coming forth or they're doing it in a very manipulative way, right? And I feel like in your heart of hearts, you want this Ten of Cups. Because the Ten of Cups talks about emotional fulfillment, and I feel like it has to do a lot with a happy home. And it's very interesting because we have the Five of Pentacles, but in reverse. So the Five of Pentacles talks about being left out in the cold, right? So it talks about wanting to seek shelter and this person not... Uh, letting you into their house during a winter storm, and as a result, you're forced to be out in the cold, in the storm. So what I think it is, is that this person has shut you out in some way or another. It might actually be in a metaphorical or literal way. I feel like some of you guys may have been sort of kicked out of your living arrangement. And with this Five of Pentacles in reverse, you're sort of wishing that they would let you back into their life. And I feel like that's why this Knight of Cups is in reverse, is because you want that to happen, but it's not happening. It's a very interesting reading. Because we have both... I'm almost getting like these three columns mean different things. We have this one scenario here where somebody is coming forth in a very manipulative way with this knight of cups in reverse asking for either your hand in marriage or some kind of commitment and then we have this scenario here where you guys want some kind of emotional fulfillment but somebody has locked you out and isn't letting you back into their life and then we have sort of this third scenario here where you've sort of given up on this thing because the seven of Wands is my worth fighting for card. It's having decided that something is worth fighting for and you know, you stick to it and you just keep trucking and you do it until you eventually reach your goal. But the fact that it's in reverse almost lead, leads me to believe that you guys have stopped fighting for this connection. And I feel like for some of you, it might be as a result of this five of pentacles or as a result of this emotional manipulation here for further commitment. But whatever it is, I feel like some of you are stopping. Okay, I feel like for some of you, it's like group A, group B, group C, and then group D where it's like this is happening, moving into this, moving into this, right? So this is you stopping uh, fighting for the connection. And then this is you gaining rest, right? Because the Nine of Swords talks about feeling very stressed out uh, and not being able to sleep at night. And the fact that it's in reverse leads me to believe that you guys are resting, that you guys are able to finally rest in peace, right? And I feel like getting a good night's sleep might be very important for you guys. Definitely for sure. <laughs> but like I was saying... Try not to stress out over this connection um, because with this two of cups being as your overall energy, I feel like you guys are definitely in a, if it's meant to be, it will be kind of a situation. And if it isn't right now, it's just because this emperor is in reverse because we have the knight of swords, right? And the knight of swords is in the upright, but the fact that this emperor in this last column is in reverse almost makes you feel like this emperor has very immature energy. Um, emperors in reverse tend to be megalomaniacs, tend to be tyrants, tend to be very rude and very uh, controlling. So I feel like using those kinds of qualities in conjunction with the Knight of Swords, this person is very hurtful with their words, um, doesn't think before they speak, and... Another trait of the Knight of Swords is manipulation. So we have sort of like a, a emotional manipulation here with the Knight of Cups and then sort of like a logical manipulation here with the uh, Knight of Swords. Sometimes when I see the Knight of Swords in the lower vibrational energy, I, it almost feels like gaslighting. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's been some 
serious issues in this relationship in the past. But like you guys are just trying to heal. You guys are just trying to move on. I know that this seven of swords or sorry, seven of wands is here, but it almost has like a tinge of that uh, nine of wands energy. Sorry, I meant to say this card, the seven of wands, feels like that seven or uh, nine of wands to a lesser degree. So the nine of wands is the wounded warrior card. So I feel like you guys are just trying to move on with your life do what's best for you and I wholeheartedly support that I totally agree with that and I know that if you guys release and let the universe sort of guide you you're gonna get this two of cups you're gonna get this ten of cups you're gonna get this four of uh, wands but you're gonna get them all in a healthy way right those are all powerful cards and very good and positive by themselves but they're connected to all these negative energies so I feel like once you're able to release those things, you're going to see all these positive aspects that have been blocked for so long that you've wanted finally come in. And that was your reading for this time around, Leo. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or a comment. It really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But like I said before, I upload my new Leo videos on Friday. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel. And with that, I hope to see you guys next time for next reading.